Hey guys, welcome back to another anime room tour. A lot has changed since my last room tour, so I'm very excited to do this updated version. And yeah, I'm very excited to walk you through all of the new stuff. Starting off with my PC setup, I have a custom PC which I use mostly for gaming and content creation. PC specs will be in the description of this video. On my desk, I just have a couple of manga volumes that I'm currently reading. Promise Neverland's really good, and Emma is one of my early favorite animes, and I'm really excited to be re-experiencing it in manga form. And on my desk, I just have the Heaven Official's Blessing Moonlight in the Wilderness desk mat. For my keyboard, I have the Akko World Tour London Mechanical Keyboard. And as I mentioned in my previous video, I've recently upgraded to a 4K monitor. I have the 27-inch LG 4K monitor, and yes, that is some of my student work on screen. And for my voiceovers, I use the Blue Yeti microphone. On top of my desk, I just have this resident figure of Gojo Satoru from the anime Jujutsu Kaisen. This is the only resident figure I have in my collection, and I think it fits in really well. Probably one of the coolest items in my collection is this official Black Butler B1 poster, and that might be me in the reflection right there. Another recent pickup is this Cradle Flexi ergonomic desk chair. I absolutely love this chair, really really great value for money, and the design kind of reminds me of some of my architectural student work. On my front door, I just have this beautiful artwork from the anime Aquatope on White Sand. Moving on to my first display case, we have the very beautiful Cardcaptor Sakura Stars Bless You figure by the Good Smile Company. This is probably the biggest figure in my collection. And on the bottom here, we just have a couple of Aniplex scale figures. We have the Kaori dress version and the Satohina summer memories version, and also a cute little nendroid of Yoshinoko Haru from the anime Sakura Quest. And for the second level of my glass case, this setup hasn't really changed much, but as you can see, I still have my Final Fantasy XV Play Arts Kai action figures right here. We have Luna, Prompto, and Noctis. And in front, we have two new figures from the anime Beastars, the Shishigumi of Louie and the Okami version of Legoshi. And we also have a cute little nendroid of Daisuke Kanbe. Right below my glass case, I have this wooden cabinet, which I mainly use to store figure boxes, miscellaneous manga, and miscellaneous anime figures. But on this top shelf, we do have quite a few nendroids. I have my Yuri on Ice nendroids, Hinamori Amu from Shugokara, Hinata from A Place Further Than the Universe, and Eren Yeager from Attack on Titan. At the very back, I have my Death Note nendroids and just a random figure of Nanachi from Made in the Abyss. And on this second level, I just have a couple of miscellaneous figures. I have the Tales of Arise Collector's Edition figures. At the back, I have the Kotobukiya, Soray, and Miklio. And on the side right there, I have an Onmyoji trading figure. Alright, moving on to my main figure displays, I do have these IKEA Billy bookcases with the Augsburg doors. And on this first shelf, I do have kind of like my dark anime slash action-y figures. On the top shelf are some of my bigger figures. We have the Royal Gold Otengu and Onmyo Jimiketsu, both manufactured by NetEase and Rimshan, which is from a little-known JRPG called Shining Force Exa. She's actually one of my favorite figures. Her manufacturer went out of business, so she's also quite rare now. Moving on to the second shelf are some of my action-y guys. I didn't really have a theme for this shelf, but I think these figures just really look good together. So on this shelf, we just have the Luke and Ash Meaning of Birth figure, the first scale figure I ever pre-ordered, the Saichi Sugimoto Golden Kamui by Prime One, and we have the Munachika Awakened version and the Riddle Rose Hearts from Disney's Twisted Wonderland. 
And moving on to the third shelf, this is probably one of my favorite shelves in my entire collection. As you guys know, I am a huge Black Butler fan, so I just had to collect the entire Black Butler figure set by Kotobukiya. So we have Grell Sutcliffe, one of my absolute holy grails. I'm so glad I have her. This cute nendroid of Hanako from Toilet Bound Hanako-kun. And two Sebastians looking after CL right there, as well as these nendroids from the case study of Vanitas. And another Kotobuki figure of The Undertaker from Black Butler. On this bottom half of my Billy bookcase, I just have more figures, manga, art books, and some figure boxes as well. We have the Kusaka Kabane scale figure with his pre-order bonus faceplate. And we have the Skate the Infinity Nendroid, so we have Langa and Reggie, I think they look really cute. And actually one of my favorite figures in my collection, we have the Free Starting Days figure by Alter. Really, really beautiful figure. And also a couple of Nendroids from Godzilla SP. We have Mei Kamino and Yun Arikawa. And we have this set of scale figures from Jujutsu Kaisen. We have the main trio and Gojo Sensei. This set is another one of my early pre-orders just as I was getting into figure collecting. And on the next shelf, we just have the... Harry Potter Wizard Dynasty figures up front, and the Promise Neverland box set out back, as well as a couple of my older Nendroids, a scale figure of Alicia Difda from Tales of Zestiria, and probably my only one good Attack on Titan figure, the Fortified Levi. And on the bottom most shelf, we have the very old Kotobukiya figure of Akira from Togei no Nochi. And also this Ritsu Sakuma figure by Alter, really really beautiful and detailed figure. And on this shelf we just have a couple of Harry Potter acrylic stands up front, an unofficial light stick I got from the Westlife concert I went to a couple years back, and also some manga and PS4 games. And moving on to the second Billy bookcase, this bookcase contains some of my favorite figures and also some of my fantasy and JRPG figures as well. I'd like to call this top shelf my elemental shelf because the figures here have kind of like that elemental theme, but here we have the very beautiful Gilgamesh figure by Alter. Next to him, we have the Apex Zhao figure from Genshin Impact. And over here we have Sandalfon, a very beautiful Nendroid and also very difficult to assemble. And lastly we have one of my Holy Grail figures. This is a recent pickup. This is the Tales of Zestiria Water Armadization figure by Kotobukiya. Really really beautiful figure. Up next is quite possibly my favorite shelf because it has some of my favorite animes in it. Starting off with this figure right here, the Yuri on Ice premium box figure with Makachin. We have the Nendroid of Ash Lynx next to the Mega House Ash Lynx figure. This is the first release and that bromide card in the background came with the Mega House Ash Lynx figure. And right here we have the Kotobukiya Ash and AG figure very very special figure to me because this was my very first scale figure so it has a lot of sentimental value and we have this nendroid of ag with his pre-order bonus stand and we have the freeing ash lynx 1 7 scale figure up next is another group of my favorite figures we have kind of a blue theme going on in here but first we have Katarina Clays. This is a very beautiful figure by Furyu. And next to her is the Nendroid version of her. This is one of the first Nendroids I've ever pre-ordered and I think she looks really cute. 
up next is one of my favorite male figures in the collection. This is the very iconic Saragaki Alba figure by Max Factory. One of my most unique figures as well. And he has a little Rem doggy version right there next to him. And right next to him is the very beautiful and very big Ren Rhyme Mode figure also by Max Factory. I just love the base on this figure and that cloak he has on also comes off. So technically this is a cast off figure. And of course I wanted to show off my Lord of the Rings Pop Mart collection. I've never really seen these in collection form. I have seen a couple of unboxings. Lord of the Rings was one of the two major movie franchises when I was growing up. The other one was Harry Potter. So I'm really glad to have it as part of my collection because I am a huge Lord of the Rings fan. And I hope they make more in the future because I'd like to see more characters in Pop Mart form. And finally, on the bottom half of my second Billy Bookcase, I just have a bunch of manga and JRPG figures. Once again, this shelf has some of my favorite figures. You're gonna be hearing me say that all the time in this video. But here we have this very beautiful scale figure of Menma by Alter. This is another one of my early pickups. Right next to her is her Nendroid form. She is by far my most expensive Nendroid. Don't ask me why. Right next to her is the very cute Nendroid of Yatora from Blue Period. And up next are two of my absolute favorite figures in my collection. We have Soray and Mikleo by Alter. If you can't already tell, Tales of Zestiria is my favorite Tales game. Even though all the Tales games I played hold a special place in my heart, Tales of Zestiria just hit differently because of the character relationships. And speaking of character relationships, I just had to put this Edna next to Miklio, and Edna also comes with a little Norman mascot attached to her umbrella right there. And up next, we have Rinwell. She is probably my favorite character to play in that game, but I had to get her because I wanted the Hoodle, which only came as a pre-order bonus. And behind her, I have this figure of Oto Ai, the only prize figure I have on display and also this Max Factory figure of Alicia Florence from Aria. On to the next shelf, I have my Sims 3 collection sharing the space with even more anime figures. I'm planning to rearrange this section, but on top of my Sims 3 collection, I just have the free Yotengo trading figures. I think that's what it's called. I have this altar figure of Rei from Free. He's probably my favorite one out of the full set. And in front of my Sims 3 collection, I have probably some of my favorite Nendroids. We have Ritsu and Mafuyu from Given, one of my favorite animes. And right next to them, we also have this figure of Nagisa from Clanad, another one of my early Nendroid pickups, and I'm really glad I got her when I did because she is really expensive now. But right next to her are two of my more recent pickups we have. Lumine and Aether from Genshin Impact. Never played Genshin, but I really love this figure and I have them both with their pre-order bonus faceplates. And behind them we have the rest of my free altar boys. And yes, I deliberately post them in that way. Um, if you know the anime, you know. And over here in the corner, I just have this very tall Arthur Pendragon figure by Aniplex, I believe. And on the final shelf, I just have mostly manga, a couple of smaller scale figures, and also a bunch of BL Nendroids. So in front of my entire Fruits Basket collection is my school uniform versions of the boys from Beastars. We have Legoshi and Louie. Next to them are my Dakaichi Nendroids. I think they look really cute, but to be honest, I'm not really that invested in the series. And up next is Misaki from Junjo Romantica and also this very overpriced acrylic stand of Given. This is an anime exclusive so I paid a lot of money for that. And over here is Akihiko from Junjo Romantica. 
Outback, we just have more manga, mostly BLs. Given is one of my favorites, and I'm planning to collect the rest of Banana Fish in the future. And that concludes my room tour for 2024. Let me know what your favorite item was. And if you guys are curious to know what my room looked like, I will leave a pinned comment with a link to my original anime room tour. Also, I have a page on my figure collection. If you want to see my anime figures more in depth, you can follow me on there. I also post some of my photography on there as well. And as a special bonus for those of you guys who made it this far, this is how I display my anime figure boxes. And with that being said, I just want to thank you all so much for watching. You all have an awesome, awesome, awesome day. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye. <music>